today we are going to present your presentation about Makilonka. But before the pandemic started, we were planning on acting out the story in the middle schools in our cities. But sadly, we couldn't do that because of the COVID restrictions. Makedonka from Macedonia. This is a country in our heart of the whole Balkan Peninsula where centuries rolled and left very colorful and wealthy history in every field. And during centuries, they were different countries on the same land. But today, that's Macedonia, a small country with In time of globalization and social media, when information is spreading with speed of light, one girl from the ancient Macedonia, named Makenonka, has her own YouTube channel. There, she has thousands of subscribers following her publishing developments from her high school every life and her tips. Everyday life and her tips. Her popularity increases day by day. Her uh, charisma and pleasant voice become recognizable to many YouTube users. With death from Akedonka, the war is begun, such as how to control the popularity or how at the same time to be a friend and a high school student as she was before. After a lecture of her favorite professor, she gets a new inspiration. She changes the content of her posts and begins to report from endangered places, making vlogs from the places that need more care to conserve the nature. This Makelonka from a well-known tender setter began to report from illegal rubbish dumps and places that are endangered by human carelessness. From those places, she calls for awakening and preserving the natural ecosystem and also for protest. Usually such activity does not only mean popularity, but also problems. Current political elites dislike her activity and often she is a target of ridicule and pressure and comments like she has to be playing with her peers and writing for monkey step. She does not succumb to the pressure, but she is even more motivated. Her motto is Macedonia is not a country for one generation only. publications have also been supported by well-known businessmen and companies and she has used the funds to travel around the country and find more and more places like that. She uses the European law of freedom of speech and calls on the masses. So she became a symbol of protest for con conservation of the planet an eco-activist in the focus of the media. Her movement called Makedonka for Macedonia is supported by many eco-organizations, activists and youth. And at the same time, 